In this study, we suggest a framework to measure both public awareness and preparedness of uh, specialized uh, uh, actors integrated in digital and field surveillance. In particular, we use African swine fever as a case study. First of all, have you ever heard of African swine fever? So suppose you are reading your daily news and you find that there is a new disease in town. You probably want to know more about it to be prepared. So you go and search for it uh, in uh, your uh, free search of, inform of, of uh, information, uh, which is Wikipedia gener generally. So what is African swine fever? Um, is, uh, African swine fever is a transboundary swine disease. It's non-zoonotic, so it's not transmissible to humans, but it has high fatality rate for the, the pig and population. Uh, it's responsible for uh, massive losses in uh, pig population and uh, drastic economic uh, consequences. Uh, and uh, it has become a major crisis for the, the pork industry uh, in re recent years. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, the disease is not only impending uh, animal health and welfare, but also has the detrimental impact on biodiversity and the livelihood of farmers. The problem with the African swine fever is that there is no treatment or, uh, or vaccine and uh, mass culling is the only solution uh, for containment. So let's see how, how the spread uh, of uh, the disease works. Um, the spread of African swine fever has two main factors. The biological path um, includes uh, infected pig, uh, biological vectors like ticks or infected uh, boars. And then there is the human factor, which is multifactorial and uh, involves uh, both a specialized population and the general population. Mm, so uh, focusing on the human factor, uh, as I said before, uh, both specialized actors like farmers and the food chain uh, play a role uh, in, in this step, in particular with the infringement or, or uh, low compliance with biosecurity and uh, preventive measures, movement of uh, contaminated fomites, or under-reporting of uh, African swine fever suspected cases. But also the general population uh, can play a role by, for example, feeding uh, animals with uh, contaminated uh, food. So here we propose an integrated uh, approach that combines survey da data and uh, digital data to monitor awareness and preparedness of both specialized actors and the general public. In particular, from digital sources, we can measure public awareness and information-seeking behavior, while from traditional field, uh, field surveillance, we can assess the level of preparedness of local authorities and farmers. This can help to give insight on attention level to improve communication strategy and improve uh, risk management of uh, emerging diseases. Um, well, focusing now on the data sources, uh, we consider three main sources of data. Uh, on the digital side, uh, we use Wikipedia page views for 12 countries as a proxy of information-seeking uh, behavior. We also consider a news volume about uh, African swine fever as a proxy of information exposure. Uh, we also compare the digital data with time series, uh, time series with the cases uh, reports for African swine fever. And uh, on the, on, we use on-site survey, so on the traditional uh, surveillance uh, uh, data side, we use uh, on-site service uh, focusing on uh, in Estonia to farmers and, and authorities. To analyze the correlation uh, between African swine fever uh, media coverage uh, in each country and online users' collective response, we introduce two regression models. Here, YFT is the number of country-specific Wikipedia page views and uh, independent variables are either news volume or the news volume plus a memory term. The first model is a simple, uh, simple regression model and the second includes uh, the memory effect to uh, which account for loss of interest in the public response to media coverage.
We compare the two models using R2 coefficient and F test, uh, showing that adding the memory effect improved the performance of the model. This means that after, after a peak of attention, um, this, uh, there is a, a loss of interest uh, in uh, the general population uh, that should be accounted for when we um, design a communication campaign. To qualitatively explore, explore the content of the digital news, we analyzed uh, uh, the prevalent topic in the news using an LDA uh, model focusing in particular on the news for Estonia. Uh, the most relevant one referred to, to, control, uh, to control measure. Now, focusing on the specialized actor, we assess also level information and preparedness of, uh, of the specialized actors, such as farmers and authorities. And uh, in particular, uh, we, um, we see that information sources span from social media to news, uh, magazine, and uh, colleagues and friends. And also, uh, specialized actors are uh, well aware and uh, uh, mostly prepared for uh, for uh, for the disease uh, to for the management management of uh, the disease. Of course, the uh, the study uh, had uh, faces several limitations, especially with the field activities that were uh, complicated by the concurrent. Uh, concurrent uh, COVID-19 pandemic on multiple fronts. Uh, in fact, um, both uh, this, this problem include a small sample size of, of both Estonian farmer and uh, veterinary authorities and also the disruption in data collection due to um, lockdowns uh, and the pandemic in general. So in conclusion, we propose a framework to assess preparedness and awareness in both specialized and general population. Uh, the integration of di digital data can support a, a traditional surveillance to design better information campaign. And uh, also uh, measuring uh, real uh, time decrease of information seeking behavior can help uh, to adjust uh, communication uh, campaign. Thank you for your attention.